Good morning guys and welcome back to the GKP. Got a couple of things I need to talk to you all about. First of all, I'm going to get out of this wind because it's blowing a hole in. And get down there into the filler house and have a quick chat with you. I just managed to get a long cut and then it lashed it down. So that's that done. Pond's looking good. Fish, no more flashing. I've not seen anything flashing all week, which is fantastic. Now, I ain't going to be scraping them again. I'm going to get myself inside the filler shed because it's blowing a gale. Look at those plants blowing around. It's absolutely shocking out there. Um, like I said, not seen anything, anything flashing at all. I'm not taking any out this weekend to scrape none. I'm going to leave them be because between you and me in the last few weeks, these fish have been through it a little bit with the parasites and being in and out, being netted up and the loss of one. I'm just going to let them be. They're happy. They are not flashing. They're all looking good. So until then, I'm going to leave them and I'm going to let you, let you guys uh, have a quick watch, give them a quick feed and we'll flick camera around and we'll have a little chat about what's going on. Let's see how quick they switch on to this. There we go. Everybody's looking well. Super happy with them. Oh, look now, look at the little ones coming up here now. I mean that little Asaga, giving an Asaga there from oh, from here, from New Forest Coy. Wasn't even out when they had the Yamabuki in there. It amazes me how the dynamics of your pond can really change. She's still holding on to her spawn there. Still not spawned yet. I think the Kahaku looks a little bit slim. I'm not sure if she has or whether or not uh, I've missed that through the week. Possible. Could have ate it all while I've been at work. But yeah, nobody's flashing. Everything looks good. That is the third feed at day, so they'll come up and uh, nibble away at that at the leisure. But they never waste them, so we'll leave them be, let them do what they're doing. Right, guys, Whew. God, it's not so good out there. It's the, uh, the first today, the first day of the show down at the BKKS National in Coventry. We will be attending tomorrow. I'm hoping to be there between like 9 and 10 ish. I'm, I'm we're hopefully aiming for, for 9, but traffic and uh, a couple of pit stops permitting, we're going 9, 9 30, between 9 and 10. That's when we're going to be there. That's most of the groups and aiming for being there. Um, feel free to come over and have a chat and a nap with us. Any of you, if you want to come over and have a, have a walk around with us for the day or spend some time with us for the day, feel free. We're uh, more than happy to come in and have a chat or have a talk with anybody. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. See the uh, the, the new layout, 50 time, 50% uh, bigger than what it's been in years gone by. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be some, you know, some improvements. And not that I've ever had a complaint before, and I've enjoyed every time I've been. So that's the first one. We will be there tomorrow. See you there. Uh, the second one is you heard, or oh, some of you may have heard, Crafty coming on. Uh, Anthony from Crafty Coy um, coming on it and talking about his growing show that he wants to do and the uh, getting behind it and getting involved in it and having perhaps maybe a, a team GKP what I would like you to do guys if anybody is interested now bearing in mind these are Kahaku from Momotaro these are minimum retail price normally be about 500 pound and he's doing them at 200 30 plus cm fish all of a good top-notch quality if anybody's interested and we can start getting some figures together for people that would like to partake in the team gkp hit me up in the comments guys let me know let me know if you're interested if you're interested and you want in let me know let's get some figures together so that we can get back to anthony and let him know just how many people we've got involved I think it'd be a good laugh, as I'm not the best at growing fish, but I know a lot of you guys out there are. And collectively, we can make and perhaps maybe beat Team Twisted, which would be wicked. <laughs> Sorry, Vince. 
but if we could and any other teams out there are going to have a go and have a laugh at it and see if they can get the subscribers to come along and you know if you if you're a channel that wants to jump in with the gkp oh and do your own feel free to get in touch with anthony and let him know that you are interested from perfect aquatics uh, in being part of his growing show event that he's wanting to do it's to get more people down there get more people involved get more people in and obviously it's going to be an increase in sales for him and it's you know there's a marketing pitch behind it as well which is understandable he's a new businessman on a new adventure why the hell not get behind somebody that's part of our community and give him a bit of support we certainly will be going down we'll certainly be involved in it and i know the vast majority of the gkp group will be there and will be in attendance too that's the first bit the next little bit is i've got these filters i need to give a clean as last last saturday week today was the um the last treatment for the flukes so i want to give the pond a clean out have a good not you know 20 percent water change filters are good clean but while i do that i'm going to hand over to our daz at the koi farm for him to show you some of the uh, improvements and the, some of the size difference he's got with his fry so while you guys enjoy that i'm going to get on with the crap part Daz is going to show you what's been going and I'll catch back up with you later on. Right guys, this is Daz, GKP, down at the farm. Just had the delivery of some fry, some koi fry from New Forest Koi. Um, these are a Father's Day come birthday present from my two children, Phoebe and Benjamin. Cheers guys. And they ordered me... Um, I think 250 of the mixed fry and Ricky has very kindly sent me a second box with a thousand of um, Dainichi Showa and um, Akawa uh, Shiro's I think it is so yeah excited to, to see what's in the boxes so without further ado let's unbox them So they're looking in perfect condition. Excellent, they're the 256 to 8 week fry. Yeah, nice mixture of colours in there. I'll have a better look in a minute. Fantastic. And I must say, I've had fry in the past from Ricky, both through the post, and I've been down and collected them, and they've always been spot on. Never had any losses, everything's always as it should be. Perfect. I thought we should all be striving for people. Let's have a peek at these. See that well through the polythene, but there's a huge amount of frying here. And again, they all look perfect. You can't see any casualties in there. Fantastic. 
Right, they're going in this tank. It's already been cycled, so it's got to plenty of um, uh, green stuff in it. <laughs> what the name is? Fusoria. And um, a tiny fry. And I've put some Daphnia in here as well. If you see some swimming around, I have to zoom right in to, to spot those. But I'm going to put another big scoop of Daphnia in to keep them happy. These are a few, this is a spawn I had the other day. You can see there's mixed colours in there. That was a, a, I think it was a Sankey, a Haku female, and a big male Deutz fish of some description. It wasn't a plant spawn in, but as usual, the unplanned spawning seems to give off millions of fry. So half of them are in, inside the tank. Them are outside the tank. A bit hard to spot. Let's go up back down. Okay, yeah. Floating net within the tank. Well, funny enough, the ones in the floating net are twice the size of the ones outside the net. Must be feel slightly warmer microclimate in, inside the net. Let them go a bit faster. Right. These guys are some of my six to eight week fry. Most of these are two, two, two and a half to two and three quarter inch, I'd say. The biggest ones. That blue white one down there. They're for half cues mainly. And tubers. And then these are the Kiyotsu Kofi Sanki, these are, these are quite interesting. That's the bowl of York. They, they've come on leaps and bounds in, in the tunnel on the Daphnia. Well, I'll show you. These are mostly inch and a half to two inch. And I'll just show you down the garden some of the others. In the same batch kept outside. <laughs> and they are that size. And these are an inch, half inch to an inch. So yeah, makes a big difference. In here. In fact, these are the Sanku Kiyok series, and these are the Kahakus. The Kahakus don't seem to be going as fast as the Sanku series for some reason. Light's bad in here. Let's see if we can zoom in on some of the. Achievers. All the brown ones, dark ones are achievers. When you get close up to them, you can see the achiever patterning on them. Yeah, this is one of these smaller tanks, and this is as well, so they're going to have to go, they need to make room for fish, you do not belong here. Breakfast. 
give the big guys some. males for breeding and potential grow-ons for breeding fish that have got a bit of promise for the future future brood stock yeah these um, these tanks work fantastic that's concrete post travel boards system's working brilliant on it. I just need to upgrade the UV filter on that one, as you can see, slightly green. <laughs> I'm not bothering the fish at the moment. This one was exactly the same. So I upgraded the UV and that's crystal clear. These guys will be eating all day long, as much as you throw at them. yellow ones I'm assuming Climatise those for a bit. They're not all going in the same tank. I've got another tank to put them in to keep them separate. But the temperatures will be the same, so I'm going to float them for the time being. And uh, get back to you in a bit when I've got them settled in. Right, guys, I've just emptied out the 250 to 6 to 8 week old fry. Guys, back with the fry. Set up the um, brine shrimp hatchery. Up to an all-air pump. Sure, we've all seen videos on that. And these are the 250 fry. Beautiful, all different varieties. Looking very healthy, very lively. Not a single loss. And I've put these in a little net. Don't want to be putting the water out of the bag straight into the tank because it'll be laced with ammonia. We'll have this whole tank to themselves. I should be well in this. I keep it very shallow, nice and warm. It's unbelievably hot in here today. In fact, my phone just shut down because my phone got too hot. Knees go 
exportation wise pump through to a canister filter to take the mechanical waste out then through into a K1 bed the biological and back in it seems to work quite well for fry never had any problems with um, ammonia or anything like that yeah, a little swirling around. I'm going to get these guys some Daphne in a minute. I'm set up for another. Net oh, floating. Yeah, set another net up in here. A tiny fly. I don't know if you can see them. Those are some maybe at the far end, so I can zoom in a bit more. Shallow and these are a bit of brine shrimp. So we get them to get bigger size. Then they're going to the daphnia. That's my idea to put a few daphnia in with them now. They can breed and they can pick it off with the baby Daphnia. Right, that's everything set up. Let me get these guys some food. Catch you later. Right, this is one of my favourite foods for the fish. I get a lot of satisfaction out of seeing these get eaten. Mosquito larvae. Swines can't bite them. It's revenge. Always a good source of fish food. Bachelor of food in there. I don't know if you can see it that well. Look at that, the sun. Yeah. Plenty of mosquito larvae. I'm looking back to Daphne in a minute. these to the fish first. Yeah, I think summer's back today. <laughs> a bit more escaping last thing, right? But Fresh gravel down. Put a little bit further forward. Amazing how fast fish settle down to the new environment. Oh, I'm going to chat this back in and got one. Okay, what I did notice, one's coming through the tunnel. This was a spawning tank. 
last week, last Tuesday, I think it was. It's got it's crystal clear. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a swamp now. That's just because of the heat in the tunnel with no UV. What I did notice, I if you can see. Um, Baby fish. Let's try look through the net. Right down near the edge of the pool. Let's get around this side of it. Bloody fish everywhere. God knows how many thousand are in here. Well, they've got plenty of um, <laughs> algae to feed on. <laughs> hmm, maybe I need to get a UV on that <laughs> so I can actually see them. I'll tell you what though, it's quite a good size. Put that one down there. So I put some outside, they're like eyelashes. This little guy's four times the size easily. That's what, that's what you get when you eat your greens. Right, catch you guys later and get some work done. New fry tank set up. This is a new koi house. So, these are the Sankey and uh, Uxuri fry in the left hand tank. And two little death cans, so they've got UV and filtration. It should stay nice and clean. And this is a much bigger tank, and I'm going to put all the Kahaku fry in here. Because they're all the smaller ones that runs from down the garden. I need them sources for the next lot of fry. There's a lot. That last spawn I had, it was a lot of fry. I don't know if they're going to be any good, but I'm going to give them a fair chance. Um, yeah, so I'll, I think it's going to be easier to feed the fry in these tanks with live food. This is a smaller area, they can just demolish it as soon as I put it in. I can keep a better eye on them and they're not taking up valuable real estate now. So even if they don't get to a decent size, I'm not compromising anything else. I think they're all there. Right, I'll get back to topping up the flying saucers now. Catch you later. Put a little bowling up, I can put some of the quite. That's nice. That is it Ginrin? Yeah, Ginrin. Almost Tancho Kahaku. Dunno. Nice. And that colossal beast is an achiever. I mean, we only just put these in a few days ago. There it is. And they've certainly been eating well. I like it to have a nice pattern as well. And the Deutz fish. Scales. I'm not sure whether these are keyboard series. These two are definitely scaled. Well, yeah. Yeah, definitely see those. Scale pattern on that. And a little 
Kita. Scaled. I certainly looked to it, it's been looked at the other day. Oh, that one's scaled as well, I think you want the back. Scaled now. A little bit of fish porn for you all out there. Here's this year's fry. Well fed little blighters. In fact, I think they probably need a bit more flow. These are the Sankey Utsuri cross. One is definitely doits. Yes, these are scales, most of the gin are in. See the gin on, on that one at the bottom. These are gin rim as well. Our ups of things. The orange ones. That's just one scoop out the big tank down here. There's still a load left in here. Let's have a little look from the top. Some nice skin ring on some of these. Unusual dark saddle markings on the back, like that one. The whole back seems to be black. A little gin rin showing through. A couple of chagoys. Come in as well. Not sure where they're from. Might want to see a bit of a how wacky kind of markings. Yeah, a lot of these you can see orange patches coming up on them. How wacky or kahaku? Not sure. Doesn't look strong enough for kahaku. Might be that one down at the bottom. Possibly could. Oh, that's nice. Let's have a quick peek at these, these are the bigger guys. Let's have a quick swipe in there, sitting there. Should be some 
it's the cheapest in here. That's a keeper. Oh, it's about to go right into the fins as well. Mm. Let's see if there's any more out. Bigger tubers, there's some absolute corkers in here. No, I don't have cork. I've got a few. Let's have a little look. Another night. There's some beautiful gin rin. Orange fish. Look at that Benny Goy. Look at that achiever. Perfect striping down the back. Needs a bit cleaner. Oh, yep, that one's a bit doits on the side. That's weird. It's all got the side. Water's a little bit dirty in here. Oh, not too easy to see. Could use tap water. Oh, that's a nice ginner in a cheetah. Another achieve in there. Lighter looking one. There's a lot of achievers in the tank. Let's see if we get a few more. Beautiful gin rain, whatever it is. It's a bit like the Harawaki, the orange head. Oh, yeah, there's some better achievers in here. The colour patches are a lot stronger on these than when I've bred a tuba before. When I've done them before, they just had an odd patch here and there. A lot of these. Oh, that's a nice one. 
Yeah, yeah there's a lot better quality of cheebers. Now someone says to me, well actually I think I read it in a book. The secret to getting high grade of cheebers is to use high grade kahaku to spawn. And then cross the kahaku with either um, saragoy or chagoy. In this case I use chagoy. But um, yeah, so it seems to be ringing true. Right, I better get make a move. I've got to get back to Thursday Night Live. Get these guys back in the tank. Once again, I would like to thank New Forest Koi. Wow, that's a Deutz. For the fry that they've been sent me today. Very impressed with those. Can't wait to get um, some growth on those. And I'll keep you guys posted as they progress. If it stays as warm as this, we won't have to wait long. These things are growing by the day. And if you like what you've seen, could you like, share, subscribe to Dazzle's Toy Pond? And keep smiling. Well. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed that. In the meantime while you was doing that, I managed to get the uh, pond filters cleaned. Oh, my, my lilies are looking a mess. Try to smash it bits out of them this year. But I'm gonna give them a couple of mealworms, let them have a quick feed of them. Let you see that, and then uh, we're gonna wrap it up. Bang them a few mealworms on guys. Give him a little bit of a treat. Help him with a netting. You gotta give it a quick jiggle so that it ends up working its way through the net. But you can see the lobbies. So like I said guys, we're going to be at the uh, BKKS, BKKS Koi Show at Coventry tomorrow, which uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, might have a look around, see if we can find a replacement Yamabuki, that's definitely doable. If we can get one of them, that'd be sweet, but not saying we're going to, but it's always going to be nice to have a look. Like I said, be uh, be great to bump into some of you and some of the subscribers down there some of the other youtubers down there feel free to come over and have a chat it'd be lovely to have a natter with you all usual thing guys let me know what you think to the new intro if you could do me a huge favor like share subscribe tell a friend don't forget to comment below with regards the uh, grown show from perfect aquatics uh, with uh, anthony from crafty koi let me know if you're in, let me know if you're interested, comments below, let me know what you think to the uh, the new intro. Usual guys, keep smiling, we'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy guys, see you all soon.